Hi, and welcome to part six in a series of videos documenting the rebuild of my 944 engine. In this video, I will be replacing the clutch pilot bearing and installing the rear main seal and the flywheel. Welcome to 944 Restore. I didn't have a good way to access the back of the engine while on the engine stand, so I decided now was a good time to relocate it. I built the dolly using some 2x4s and caster wheels and transferred the engine onto it. It's built in a way so that the engine is supported by the motor mount brackets and not the oil pan. The Haynes manual gave me this suggestion for removing the clutch pilot bearing. The pilot bearing didn't even budge. What did work was using bread and then compressing the bread until the pilot bearing popped free. Cleanup was easy as well. You can see it start moving right about here. I'm going to install it using a seal driver. I left the pilot bearing in the freezer overnight to make hammering it in a little easier. The rear main seal is prone to leaking if installed incorrectly. Two problems I wanted to avoid, knocking the spring out and bending the metal casing. I bought a four inch PVC end cap and modified it so I could press in the seal evenly. I drilled three holes and used bolts with the same pitch and thread as the flywheel bolts. By tightening the bolts in a circular pattern, I was able to drive in the seal evenly. There's a pin on the crankshaft that needs to line up on the flywheel. I circled it here. I will be installing a new clutch and I had the flywheel resurfaced at a machine shop. The challenge when torquing the flywheel bolts is keeping the crankshaft from spinning. I used two bell housing bolts, a clutch pressure plate bolt, and a breaker bar to lock the crankshaft. It's recommended to replace the flywheel bolts with new ones, as the cheese head bolts are more likely to strip. I did my best to torque the bolts in a star pattern, marking them as I went along.
The main reason I am putting the flywheel on before the belts and rollers is to find top dead center. There is a small mark on the block which lines up with the OT mark on the flywheel. And that wraps up the RMS and flywheel. For the next part in this series, I will be installing the belts and rollers. Thanks for watching.